Hi, this is Eric from DevOpsTechBlog.com. In this demo, we're going to be creating a Docker file, and we're going to be using a Ubuntu image and installing an Apache web server with that Docker file. The first thing I want to do is create a directory, and I'm going to call it Docker. I'm just going to CD into that directory. So now I'm in my home directory and I'm in the folder docker and in this directory I want to create a, a file called index.html and what we're going to do with this file is we're going to use it to make sure that our Apache web server is running correctly so I'm going to create the file called index.html and I'm just going to create a header and I'm just going to put that our site is running okay I'm going to save and exit this file now what I want to do is create a docker file and we're going to name it docker file so make sure that it has a uppercase D that way docker knows exactly where to find this file so in this file, we're going to create some directives that's going to tell Docker how to build our image. So the first one is from, and I'm going to put Ubuntu with the tag of latest. So what this is going to do is pull the Ubuntu base image from the Docker Hub repository. Next, I want to do a run and I'm going to enter some commands that are going to be run inside of our container. So the first one is apt-get-y update to update all the packages and also apt-get install-y apache2 and curl and we're going to use curl to curl our apache web server to make sure it's running and it's very important to make sure that we use the dash y flag in this because these commands are going to be executed automatically and in order for it to do so in order for it to be automated the dash y flag is very important the next thing we want to do is expose our port inside the container which is port 80 which is the port that the apache web server is running on Next, I'm just going to create a working directory. So whenever the container is started, the working directory that it started in is in bar www.html. Next, I want to copy that index file that we created, and I want to replace the one that the Apache web server automatically created and we'll use that as our web page. Next, we'll create an entry point, and it's gonna be in a list format. So this is a command that we're gonna to use to start our Apache service, and we're gonna also create a CMD directive with the dash capital D flag and the word foreground and what this is going to do is the entry point is going to use the CMD flags as the command okay so we can make sure our docker file has been created correctly seems like everything looks good so I'm going to save this file and I'm going to exit out and the next thing I want to do is build our image so the way to do that is docker build dash t for tag and we're going to give a name for our image I'm just going to name it Apache server and then I'm going to put a dot to specify that our docker files within this directory Okay, so it's starting to build our image. 
you can see that it gets run in steps. So it's pulling the base image Ubuntu from Docker Hub. And the good thing about Docker is that each directive that we entered in our Docker file is considered something like a layer. And Docker builds images in layers, which is great for saving resources So, for example, if I wanted to create another Docker file with the same Ubuntu image and I just wanted to add a couple more directives to that Docker file, it'll just use whatever we created in our first Docker file and just add on the other layers that are needed and it's going to be very quick and, and fast. Okay, it looks like it successfully created our image. You can see that it ran all the steps. Uh, let's go ahead and create a container. So the way to do that is docker run dash D for detach mode so that our container will continue to run in the background and we're going to give it a name so dash dash name I'm going to name it Apache 1 and then we're going to specify the name of the image that we created so that was Apache server okay so you could see that we created our container so I can do a docker container ls and that's going to list out all the containers that are running and you can see that we have our Apache server, Apache 1 running, and it is exposed on port 80. And let's go ahead and do a, do a Docker exec on our container. And what we want to do is curl the local host on the container and what we're going to get is, or what we should get is, a message saying that our site is running. So that looks like we created our container successfully and it's working properly. Now, if you want to remove this container, we can do a docker rm dash f and the name of our container. Okay, so if I do a docker container ls. The container is gone. And if you want to remove an image that you don't need anymore, you could do a docker rmi f and the name of the image that we created. Okay, so you could see it deleted all the layers of our Docker file. So if we do a docker image ls, that image is gone, and we just have our Ubuntu base image there, and that is how you use a Docker file and thank you for watching.